All right. So now we're going to move into a little bit of preparation. So in the invitation, you were invited to identify some kind of a conversation that you're going to have um, in this workshop to practice. So what we're after is for you to have a title of that conversation and who is this conversation with. So that's, that's kind of what we're after. Um, I'm going to give you a minute to, um, to do that in a second. And I'm going to give you some examples, too, because I've, I've been told that, you know, some people need examples to... Um, to basically, you know, come up with a, a topic. So like, a, for example, work, like a teammate is late again, uh, might be a conversation that you want to have with that teammate. Your manager requests overtime, might be another one. Um, and so these are just examples, like um, you want to offer feedback to a teammate, there's a process improvement, you know, you're working at an unsustainable pace. Hey, you know, you're asking me to work 60 hours a week. It's not sustainable. So that might be a, a conversation for you to have with your, uh, your, your manager. So I want to pause. Uh, I'm going to give you about a minute for everyone to identify a conversation that you would like to have with someone in your life. So keep it real, you know, look for something real and you'll get more out of the workshop if you, uh, if you do that. And I just realized I'd like to give you the slides for the folks that are still here. I'd like to offer this gift of the uh, PDF. Let's see, looking for scary honesty. All right, so I'm sending the uh, PDF of the slides in the chat window. And um, if you have if you have an iPad, you won't be able to read it for some reason. It does it's not supported in Zoom, but uh, if you have a laptop, you should be able to download that. So giving you about another thirty seconds to identify your topic. All right, so here's a little bit of the internal preparation. Like, what I, why do I want to talk? So is there a specific event? And we're going to go into a little bit more detail later. So is there something specific that happened? And then later, we're going to identify feelings and needs. So the skill that we're going to learn work on right now is observing, noticing our sensory and mental experiences and distinguishing these experiences from the interpretations that we ascribe to them. It's a lot of words, but I like, I like playing a game to kind of demonstrate what that is. Uh, and, and it's a short game. We're going to do it in a group. It's called I See, I Imagine. So in the I See portion, we're going to describe something as if we're looking through the lens of a camera. And then I Imagine is, is some kind of, we make up some kind of story about it. So that's the game. We're going to play a, a couple of rounds here as a group. And let's see. Wow. I, uh, uh, Maggie, you good playing? Sure, I'll play. All right. Let's see. I see, I see giant golden curtains in your window. Or uh, maybe they're yellow, but they look golden to me. And I imagine that you're living in a palace. 
that's that's my my game. You want to play, Maggie? Uh, sure. Um, I see two silver and black things and a band across your head, and I imagine that you're in a spaceship and you're darting off to Mars right now. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I like it. Uh, and I see that you're wearing glasses. And I imagine that you're a smart librarian. You're right. Um, <laughs> I see um, what looks like uh, colored figures right behind your right ear. And I imagine that those are like pancakes that you're going to take down and they have different tastes of blueberry and raspberry and lemon. And you're going to enjoy that. Thank you. You got it. So that's that's the name of the game. Uh, wondering if one of you all want to play. In the Midwest, they say y'all. Anyone want to play? Raise your hand if you'd like to play. I see, I imagine, here in the larger group. We're just going to do a couple more of those, and then we're going to move on, because we're going to use that, that differentiation between observations and evaluations. John. I see that your hand's up. You want to play? You got to unmute yourself, brother. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, Go ahead, John. So let's see. So, so should I work with your room or? Um, you could ask for consent from someone else. To, so that's the important part. We're not there yet, but asking for consent is, is an important thing. Just call on someone and see if they want to okay. play. Uh, ben, you're next up on my video. Can I? May I play with you? Okay. So let me uh, focus over here. Uh, thank you. Uh, so Ben, um, let's see. Uh, I see a lot of art on your walls. And I imagine that you are a person who likes beauty. Mm. Mm. Thanks, John. Hey, are you open to a little coaching? Are you asking me? Yeah, John. And what I, I sure, heard you absolutely your gameplay, anytime. And I, I'm just wondering if you're open to a little coaching. Yeah. Anytime, um, Jim. So Jim. when you said the word a lot, um, that's an evaluation because your a lot and my a lot are obviously different because I only see one picture there. I see two more. Two. Three, yeah, that's still not a lot for me, man. Okay, fair enough. So, so the yeah. point being is the word a lot is is an evaluation. So, um, do you want to? May I have permission to revise and extend my remarks? Yes, revise and extend. Go ahead. John. Um, so, uh, Ben, I see at least three pictures on your wall, and I assume that you are a person who likes art. Or I imagine you're a person that likes art. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, I'm supposed to react, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do. I love, I love nature and art and my son's an artist also. Awesome. Thanks, John. Hey, Ben, do you want to play? You want to play yeah. back with John? Yeah, sure. Uh, John, um, I see this plain uh, white brick wall behind you. And I imagine that you're kind of into minimalism and kind of Zen. Hmm. Thanks, Ben. Hey, Ben, are you open to a little coaching? Yes. Um, I liked what you said, and the word plain kind of struck me, because for me, that doesn't look plain at all. Mm. And that, that plain part is an evaluation. It's like your sense of plain and my sense of plain are different. So we want to we want to be able to tell the difference between your evaluation and, and my observation. So, um, could you good... describe something very specific that you see in the in the uh, in the mirror or in the uh, in the video, and uh, play again? Do you want to you want to give yeah. that a go? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Um, hey, uh, John, um, I noticed that you don't have any um, objects or paintings or photos on your wall. And I notice, uh, and my, and I, I imagine that you're you're um, a minimalist. Thank you. Cool. That works. 
you see the difference, Ben? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very much different. Like, for instance, I, now I can see that another way of describing the wall behind John is it's very interesting and textured. And it's got the brick and it's got shadow in there from the brick and on and on. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so, so it gets tricky. Textured, your textured and my textured might be different. Um, so, you know, for the observation piece, we want to get, you know, kind of the evidence, just like what's the data, the things that we can agree on that doesn't have a whole lot of evaluation. Yeah, evaluation or judgment, maybe. Yeah, evaluation or judgment, exactly. Okay. So, cool. all right. Well, thanks, Ben. Thanks, John. Thanks for hanging out. I'm guessing that that's, that's good enough for uh, demonstrating the concepts. Um, all right, one more. There was a, a request for one more. Who wants to play? Please raise your hand if you'd like to play I See, I Imagine. So someone requested it. Um, so let's see, who, who, is, who requested it? Rita, Rita, um, would you like to play? Yeah, I'll play. All right, why is it, I need to, all right, go ahead, Rita. I, who who um, asked for consent for who, who you wanna play with? Um, let me get my gallery here. <clears throat> um, let's see, Natalia, would you be willing to, to play this with me? Yes. Natalia. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Uh -huh. There she is. Okay, Natalia, yeah. I'm going to spotlight you. All right. Go ahead, Rita. Uh, Natalia, I see that you have a wooden, or it looks like, okay, this is challenging. Natalia, I see, yeah, that you have. what looks like a wooden beam behind you. And I imagine that you're moving. Yeah, that works. So you see a beam behind you and you, you imagine that she's moving. All right, thanks Rita. Natalia, would you like to play back? Yeah, let's, let's try. Thank you, Rita, for choosing me. <laughs> okay, so Rita, I see I see the flowers behind you. So I I imagine you you like nature. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So Rita, is that uh, is that a good example for you? Um, it was, and I think that kind of points out where I get stuck with that. I, I got stuck on the word like wooden. Is that an evaluation or judgment? So that's kind of where I, I feel a little tricky in the language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think you got it. Um, I think most of us would look at that beam in the picture and agree that it's made out of wood. But you know, these days it could be like plastic or something, you know, like some kind of a, but, but from the picture, it looks like wood. So um, one of the things that we're running up against is the importance that NVC really is the intention. So NVC isn't the words that you speak as much as the intention uh, that comes from the heart. And um, so that's, those are concepts that we go into a little bit deeper during like the series when we have more time and over 10 weeks. But, uh, but yeah, you got it. I think, I think that's it. Cool. All right, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and move on. <clears throat> 